The camera's rolling. You're on, Richard. The camera's rolling. All right. So let's switch to a different one. I've already gone through and played all of the ones that I downloaded, which are released in the last year. But I have mm. older ones on here, which are from like 2015, 2016, which are also like really amazing. Mm. So let's see if I can find... There's a couple of them that I remember that I really liked. This, okay, this is one of the best. Let's see, and I don't know if this thing will play all the way through on this machine or not, but we'll find out. This one is from 2014. Mm -hmm. Like, the music is important, I think the story is important, and the art. Like, I really love the pixel art mm. and, the, and the, the talent and the skill of the artists that can use this palette of 16 colors <laughs> to make, you know, these incredible images and tell these actually really powerful stories. This one is called We Are All Connected. Uh -huh. no, the lettering is blowing away. How many demos did you bring with you today? There's at least 50 or 60 oh, on wow. this SD card. Yeah. Wow, amazing. I mean, I have this SD card. It's like an amalgamation of all these things that I got from, like the SD to IEC comes with an SD card with a bunch of stuff on it. And all this stuff that I had downloaded and moved. I mean, there's almost all the software that was ever written for the Commodore 64. Oh no, are those cows car. falling? <laughs> are those supposed to be cows? Yep. Oh, poor cows. <laughs> Is this written, written uh, created on a, on a Commodore 64? I don't know how they developed it. I mean, I imagine these guys probably do their development on an emulator. Okay. And then test it on real hardware, right. hopefully. I mean, to. back in the day, they used the C64, and maybe some of them still do. Like, there's this guy, Nick Morentes, that writes games for the Coco and the TRS-80, and he does it all on the Amiga. Like, he does his <laughs> development work on the Amiga, like, does the art. I did it on emulator. Yeah, I'd write it on a PC on a Linux computer and test it on the emulator. Oh, that's very impressive. Very impressive. Is this playing on the Commodore? Yep. This is, it's a bone stock Commodore 64. Yep. And you can, you can copy these things on a floppy disk and you can run it right. on a 1541. Right. You're a little longer to learn. So what you're saying is, this would not be created. It could be, it could be, but I think these these developers probably work on modern machines. Right. Just because it's easier and you have more memory and you can, you know, you can have big screens and lots of multiple windows. And right. And how does it do the emulator fast? And how does it go from These things are awesome. This is one of the places where it crashes sometimes. I mean, I because know. the emulator is emulating the Commodore, and so you can get it. If you get it, you can 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 get it,
You burn that D64 on the real dead. take advantage of a bug in the emulator and don't realize it until you try it out on your real PC and it doesn't work. On your real Commodore. And, so, and, and your real Commodore. And then you got to figure out. Written in a program. Yeah. Uh, program. Yeah. yeah. You're writing 6502 similar language. Right. That's what I'm Yeah. Okay. And, and you're hitting the SID chip and you're hitting the VIC2 chip to create this. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty impressive, right? Mm. It's very it's impressive. It's probably for like what long scrolling screens that can build the whole screen in Photoshop with this PC. And right. And slice it up and it down. Yeah. It's a key color export it out to a format that they can read with their assembly. Crazy, crazy scroll. That, that's what I can't figure out because there are guys who speak more newbies where they take, you know, video, but then they have to chop it up into individual screens. They swirl it. Down raise them to. C64 yeah, uh, resolution and the palette. Yeah, I mean, the early days they didn't. You can kind of see that they, they always had to create stuff that would be easy to design on a 13 inch screen that took out of the before. But now they're in the same way, they just like to get hardware. Yeah. So you can work on it you know, on a modern computer and they'll have like, multiple copies of it. Like a long scrolling, you know, and see the whole image. And these scrolling things where there's a lot of detailed graphics and you're scrolling really fast, they use fast loaders, right? Because it has to load the data off of disk fast enough as the screen is scrolling. And so a lot of times those fast loaders, they'll turn off like CRCs and stuff on the disk. And if there's errors on there, it'll just crash. So, so Richard, uh, Saj, and I recently had an email conversation about, you know, trying to make a C64 Nuvi. And, uh, a C64 what? Nuvi. Nuvi? Nuvi. Nuvi. What's a Nuvi? The Nuvi is, well, the process that I oh, just thought Oh, a Nuvi. Yeah. Nuvi. N-U-V-I-E. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, and it's for PAL, PAL C64s. Where they, you know, they take the video, they chop it up into individual frames, they down res them to yep. C64 resolution, they recombine all of these frames back into a a, a, a newbie that the C64 can can Didn't play back. Somebody had and, one of those. And, and and even though we were we were told what to use, we're going, huh? They use this program on the PC to do this, and this other yeah. program, and this other program, right? right. And we still can't figure it out unless, like, somebody shows us on like a YouTube video how to do it manually. However, if I gave you the instructions, if I forwarded you the instructions, would you be able to figure out what they're talking about? They, oh, I know what that person's talking about. When you, yeah. you use this program, you use that program, you use this program. So, okay, yeah. maybe I'll, I'll forward you those instructions, and maybe it can make sense to you because right. to Sarge and I, they're going, what? what? What are they saying? Yeah. So, because we want. We want to make a newbie. Star Trek. <laughs> Star Trek. <laughs> well, well, eventual goal. Like these effects are so artistic. Oh, look at that. Yeah, more. Wow. It's like morphing from one face into it, like it's a silhouette into another guy. And there's like another one, like as it's morphing, it's like an inverse image on the other side. There. Oh, you mean? And then it goes back. Oh, what? What you? What do you see? Do you see that, or do you see this? Yeah, right. you see optical illusion. <laughs> so basically, you're pushing the limits of the of the optical to, to play this. Yeah. All at one. Oh yeah, all these demos are one all about easy. pushing the limits. One. Of the that's kind of like the uh, uh, the challenge. One right? megahertz. Yeah. yeah. Sure. And what about the what, what about the demos that we, we played some earlier? I think that were more pixelated and more uh, of the era, the way they look. Do you prefer these versus the kind of earlier look? Earlier look. 
Well, I would say, really I would say, you were playing stuff that really looked like it was video graphics from the movie. Mm. Like this, actually. Kind of more like this. And, I mean, I, I appreciate the artistry of all of it. Uh -huh. right? the, the effects, the animations, the 3D things, the... I mean, anything that's like really clever, like with those silhouettes moving back and forth, and the, you know, the the pixel art, the art pixel that they art, make. Pixel art, right? Exactly. It's really art. impressive. Because, I mean, I can write software all day long, like stuff like this, like no problem, but I cannot do the art. Like, I'm just not artistic. And But I really appreciate it, I think it's awesome. This was incredible. Offense. This is a love. <laughs> no, we don't have the acid. Sorry. I mean, back in the 80s, the most impressive demos were ones like the Commodore Christmas demo. That was it, you know, with SD graphics. <laughs> yeah. And now, look at this. There was one that work. had Petsky animation that was really Oh, impressive. there you go. There you go. And these guys like to do oh. scrollers. Where, and you know, you look at the old ones and it was all just like a side wave, you know, all the letters like going on the scroller. And some of these guys, I mean, they're Europeans, right? And they get really drunk and they like to make scrollers that are like impossible to read. <laughs> <laughs> like the harder it is to oh, read, the better. Like the letters are all just like going around. Impossible to read. Well, that's okay. How can we recognize them or uh, we can't read their names? Right. So you see a lot, there's always greetings, right? They shout right. out greetings to the other demo groups. Right. Oh, wow, disc three. Wow, what a di Wow, you mean, wow, they required that many disc yeah. size? Amazing. Oh, there's so much bits on the floppy. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but, wow. I, I know about two disc demos, but this requires, what, four discs? This one is three. Oh, this is a three disc demo. Got it. Okay, here it goes. Disc 3. Thanks to the wonder of the fast file loading through a digital, uh, an SD card. Oh, this thing is the other scroll there. Control-ish. Run it again. No, what are they talking about? All of this is gibberish. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're drunk. <laughs> they're writing code for the 65 they're, they're writing all this scrolly stuff. You guys, what are they saying? And they're all drunk. Okay. <laughs> They do this drunk and you make it look like you can <laughs> Seriously, right? Yeah. This is scary. When you turn around and tell me these guys are totally bombed. <laughs> Too much beer. Golden, golden moment. Golden moment. Time dilates, but we travel on in our old accustomed ways. Huh? Time dialing? Present day cyber cyber cytosis. Hot color melting the anger to stone? What? See, you guys, what, the, what are they talking about? Yeah, it's a bad Google translate. <laughs> <laughs> Bad Google Translate. There's your SX64. Yay! Real hardware. Anyway, how much is hardware back then behind the picture for repair? <laughs> how much do you use a half-fold back then, Leonard? Or for, for, 
to be repaired? Too much. Nice, nicely done picture. Well done. Well done. Well, you couldn't have done this back in the day because you didn't have all the modern. You couldn't even like image capture things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. being able to capture and convert digital images and graphics. Right. It was it, it was it was very rough back yes. back then. Yeah. And, and now you just take a picture with your phone, run it through Photoshop, you know, do whatever you gotta do. Well, don't they have to like tweak it by hand pixelating some of the stuff? They look at even better. A lot of the stuff that they draw, they'll, they'll do that. They can trace it. You can put the photo behind them later and then draw behind it. Well, you know, you can have a transition there where you just switch over. Greetings! I think that's more or less the end of it. Okay. Yes, we don't have to see all the greetings. They could go on for a long time. There's one other that's really cool. It's from a previous or a later year. All right, really cool. We need really cool stuff. That's it. Really cool. This is 2015. Yeah, what happened? We've lost the rest of our our, our, our audience. They're gone. Yeah, they're they gone. Go? They all they all disappeared. <laughs> the well, demo it is late. The demo scared them off. <laughs> well, that wasn't fantastic. Yeah, it, 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 is, it is not. Who says it? This is late. This is not late. I said it's late. Oh god. Okay. Uh -oh. All surfers must have done. What? What's this called? Now this one is called. Forever Lost. Oh, Forever Lost. Okay. Samar. This is one of the best oh, groups. Oh, like Samar. I've, yeah, and I've Bonsai. heard of that. I've heard of that group. These guys are amazing. Yeah, I know this group. I think it just crashed. Uh oh. No. Did it do that? No. Reset. Reset. Restart. Anyway, I'll pull out the RAM expansion. Maybe it doesn't like that. Oh. You mean some of these demos needed uh, RAM expansion? No, I don't think any of them. Oh, okay. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, yeah. For right, Sonic, that was for Sonic. Sonic the, Sonic the Hedgehog, which spurs the demand for people to make RAM expanders. Right. Well, they were talking about it, but I don't know if any are in production yet. They, they're still talking, you know. They made a reproduction. They're, they're, they're di designed on GitHub. Really? And I, 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 I added money for the Kickstarter for the orange cartridge, but I still haven't, I've only seen a prototype of the, the orange cartridge at the Vintage Computer Festival East. I said, oh, this is it, this is the orange cartridge, it's not even orange. <laughs> I don't know why they call it the orange cartridge, it's not orange. Probably match up the orange watch. <laughs> oh, okay. Very good, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. Very good. Very good. <laughs> faces in space. Look at that. Any other faces in space? There's oh. another a green face. Okay, who's that? Uh, I don't know. Who's that supposed to be? The green alien that Kirk got. No, that doesn't look like <laughs> a green alien girl from, from the classic Trek. You are wrong. <laughs> Oh, here's another face. No, I don't recognize it. Your... <laughs> so, oh no, not another riddle. Uh, not another riddle for me to figure out. not a riddle when it talks about your soul. It's the same code. Okay, give me some kind of... 
double talk that I can't figure out. Okay, so oh, Oh, your soul belongs to the stars. Okay. Oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> now the, the credits. a member of their group or another like group, yeah. member of the scene. Uh -huh. Yeah, a lot of these guys have died off. Uh -huh. It's been 30 years, 40 years that these guys have been writing this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be moving. Maybe I think that's, that's the end. end. Let's see. There's one, I'll show one from the last year. Okay, very good. And, and I've shown it before today. Yeah, I, I, I tried to keep up with the latest, uh, latest uh, Commodore software being released, you know, the usually games being released every month, but I'm, I, I don't know where to find information on the latest like demos being released. There's a website called Puet. Okay, Puet, -E yeah. P-O-U-E-T. Yeah. And they have everything. What? Everything they do? is there. Hmm. Okay. That's good to know. I've visited Puet a few times. There's but. an online magazine also called Scene World. Okay. Scene World. I've heard of them, but I don't remember ever actually uh, reading. They, they come back to the Oh, yeah. I think I... I, I yeah, Scene World done by... Oh, what's his name? Uh, what's his person? Yurd? Yurd? Yeah. I don't know how to pronounce it. Yurdin? I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. Okay, J-O-E-R-T. Yurd. Because I was interviewed once for a scene. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to know that. He interviewed me for a word. I don't know. Ooh, I have things to say. I hope nobody else heard it. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is the one you were showing us earlier, right? Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yes, this is uh, with nice 3D images going in. Okay, now let's see him do filled images. <laughs> I need the Starship Enterprise <laughs> done in this kind of morphing from tree to my TV <laughs> Oh, look at that. Very nice. Look at that. Oh, there it is. Yes, Uma, Uma Thurman. Is that from Pulp Fiction? Yep, looks like Pulp Fiction to me. And a roto zoomer. Ah, getting dizzy, getting dizzy, dizzy. It's dinner too. What was the name of this demo again? This one is called Amanita. Duck? It was it got first place at the Moonshine Dragons competition this year, 2022. Amanita, is that spelled with a O? A-M-A-N-I-T-A. -A -A. Oh, okay. It's a cool plasma. Amanita.
Oh. Very dizzy. Very good. Uh. Oh. Yeah, this thing is fast now. Fortunately, uh, it works. Ah, uh, big. No, you're good. You're so nice to the stars. I think I got it. <laughs> what is that? A totem? It's like a board. Uh. Have you been watching the new Star Trek series? I've only seen the first episode of Strange New World. Picard. Well, there's Picard. There's two yeah. seasons. Well, yeah, I know about Picard. <laughs> Did you watch them? I watched the first season of Picard. Yeah. I haven't I watched seen... The... I watched the first one, but I haven't seen the second one yet. The second one's okay, but... My... Yeah. My... My... My friends tell me only see episode one and ep the last episode of the, the second season. Okay. Because there's too much filler in the middle. Okay. <laughs> you know, in the... It's, it's a, the Picard version of Star Trek IV. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what? He, he, he rescues Leo? Back in time and Doctor Who Mills on point. The, the guy on the bus oh, has a cameo. What? The actual the same actor. Oh no. <laughs> Come on, that's recycling too much. So like the first two episodes of Picard, they shot a bunch of it at uh, Vasquez Rocks. All right. I, I recognize it right exactly. away, right? It's like 15 miles, it's like 10 miles away from my house. Right, right. Like I immediately recognize it. Right. Yes. Yes. Maybe the future site of a class commercial. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> oh. uh, I might run into copyright issues, but if, if, it, if, if it can be done on the SID, then we won't run into copyright issues. <laughs> we have to have the SID version of that music. There you go. This is also another great one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One first place. No, no, I'm trying to think of... How to get by telling that best is plan, we'd have to have the appropriate SID music or Amiga music to go to. But of course it can't be it can't be too close or YouTube will shut us down for copyright yes. infringement. Or at least shut down the music. So right. No no no, you can't do that. So it has to be distinct enough not to be caught. <laughs> Oh, so so while we're watching this, uh, uh, let's go go back. You you were telling us about your equipment before. You got the PVM. Oh, wow. Jack and Jack. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you got the PVM from where did you get the PVM Sony PVM from? This one came from I think a place in New York City. I think I bought it off eBay, but I have another one. It's not the medical version, uh -huh. it's the gray version instead of the white. And that one I bought from a post-production company on Olive, just down the street. So wait a minute, so you, you received, you got one from New York City and it came intact with no damage? That's what I told a story earlier, like it was 
in this humongous box. Oh. <laughs> and I was gone, I was at work, but my wife was home and she said the FedEx guy just like dumped it on oh, the lawn and like wow. rolled it up to the front of the house. Wow. Like, boom, 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 boom. Wow. And it survived that? Luckily. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, it's the end of the semi. Yeah, so see that is a really special kind of end, kind of screen too, where they put two different screens with slightly different colors and they flicker them. So every other frame is is different. Right? Oh. So that way you blend colors together so you get more colors. Right? Oh. You can see it's flickering. Yeah. Right? So so if if we saw this at an L C D screen, it wouldn't quite be the it same. It wouldn't work on an L C D. Oh. It has to be on a CRT. Right? Oh wow. Yeah. But if you were to film it and then slow it down, you could probably see the flickering change. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I mean, you can see it flickering if you just kind of right. look closely. Right, it's an interlace mode. some of them it's flicker an more than it's others. It's an interlace mode. So this would be the equivalent of an iFly? Right. Mm. Yeah, it's so cool. Uh oh, I think, uh, I think that, that that's, uh, I think uh, Gerald is dis... Disassembling his equipment. Oh no, Gerald! Uh, I have a very complicated disassembly. Ger Gerald is leaving us. He's disassembling. No disassemble. <laughs> Dis <laughs> Avengers, disassemble. I, I need to disassemble. <laughs> Avengers, it's disassemble. It's very complicated. Oh, okay. If I don't disassemble in a certain order, oh, I yeah. won't be able to reassemble. Ah, uh, sounds like me. I mean, no, I have to do it because I know the way it goes back together. <laughs> exactly. There you go, Gabriel. <laughs> Okay, oh, what time is it? It is 440. 4.40. Yes, it is. 4.40. Well, guys, I mean, this is the, is this the end of your presentation here, yep. Richard? All right, it's the end of Richard's presentation. Applause! Thank you. The Commodore Los Angeles Super Show.